Hey guys, it's Matho here once again, and it has been quite a while since I've made a tasty spectral throw character. It's still probably going to be quite a while because instead I've made this guy. This is Spectral Throw Berserker with a Rebuke of the Vile based build. So it is based around the new or rather revamped Rebuke of the Vile swords. If you're unaware of what they do, they are just two fairly mediocre attack speed swords that have all types of damage. They've got a decent amount of Fizz, Chaos, Lightning, Fire, Cold and it's kind of hard to scale because you have to scale all of it at once or just focus on one uh, part of the scaling and then have basically a worse sword than whatever else you're going to specifically go for a cold or a physical sword or whatever so the idea is that to actually make use of them you want to scale everything at once now the only real way I figured to do that is through projectile damage because uh, generally you can get some decent projectile damage that will scale all of that at once as well as that berserker which has a lot of the rage mechanic that is just purely attack speed and then attack damage. So with attack damage, with projectile damage, you're looking at scaling all of the um, weapons uh, damage types at once and then start going into crit and um, crit multi attack speed and overall you have yourself something that's trying its best to utilize these weapons that have been revamped though I think it's still going to be suboptimal it's definitely an option at this point as you can see this is a spectral throw berserker that is clearing fairly well and uh, performing rather well as well it's got more attack speed than any spectral throw I've ever had before but that is because uh, berserkers rage plus blue Blitz is just completely insane and I've gone with the accuracy stacking method because that also gets you some generic damage scaling you've got a obscurantis that gives you roughly a hundred percent projectile damage based off of the accuracy I have and then Oscarms which gives you about 200 crit chance based off of your accuracy as well I don't think it's super optimal I don't think it's super worth doing but for this type of build there's really not much else you can do for scaling generic all types of damage so I had to go the accuracy stacking route get about 20k accuracy and take advantage of these well semi decent item and in the end it has resulted in somewhat of a decent character that doesn't cost too much to put together but it's not I think super effective in any one way um, over anything else for example my last real effective spectral throw would have been cold um, dex stacking so using uh, some shaped weapons and as a dead eye and I think that was probably the strongest uh, sort of spectral throw I could have possibly made it's gonna have well probably similar damage to what my guy, uh, guy currently has but that's from like almost two years ago so you would think that a cold deck stacking character could get far better dps these days and feel uh, even better just because you are so reliably freezing everything this guy however has um well kind of a jack of all trades uh, thing going on you got decent clear speed you can pull out some decent single target we're going to be hitting almost 6k life while maintaining some uh, leech some evasion some fortify and a really fast play style so chances are you're not really going to be getting hit by too much or dying but it's not really excelling in um, well beating plenty of other things I don't think uh, you'd have to invest a bit more currency or go into a specific damage type scaling this however is just a well exercise in trying to prove rebuke of the vials can be used because i've been asked so many times hey mathel rebuke of the vials they got changed yeah, thinking about a build with those the only thing i can come up with is trying to scale uh, all types of damage being all kinds of generic stuff and then going for a berserker and a projectile based build with accuracy stacking because uh, probably the most effective way of doing it might be an inquisitor so that you're getting all kinds of um, damage scaling from your elementals uh, your physical converted to elemental but then you're wasting the chaos portion of the um, weapon and chances are you just get a much better output from a real tri ellie foil or something like that so that's about it um, about the rebuke of the vials and i'll go over it with gear in a second let's talk spectral throw god damn it's such a nice skill check it out look at you go throwing spectrals everywhere and they come back to you and there's lots of them and it's a vile spectral throw every now and again too 
I think the combination of the Vile skill with the regular skill gem was one of the best things um, the company did quite, uh, I don't know, about a year ago, year and a half, two years, something like that, uh, for a lot of these gems and um, skills because you just actually get a lot of use out of Vile skills that you never would have seen before. And Vile Spectral Throw is a really nice addition to a Spectral Throw build because it gives you that... Uh, extra bit of oomph that your single target may occasionally need and then it's also pretty damn cool to actually press and use as you can see in this uh, little example here. It does help you completely blow some um, single target up and then when we're actually talking just pure real single target you're still going into slower proj and uh, this is my only real test that I've had thus far I'm like level 87 or something 88 maybe and uh, just decided to do one little shaper run you can see single target not too bad for a shaper run with some budget ass piece of shit weapons but that is the strength of berserker that is the strength of everything else in the game right now uh, there's just a lot of damage to be had out there and as well as that of course drop a few vile spectral throws and you will go plenty of places so it's been a skill that not too many people have been using recently, but I think it's one that you definitely still can and will have a lot of fun using and building many different types of damage around. Not even sure if there's a best way to do it. Maybe it's cold damage spectral throw. Who knows? In any case, I'm going to get into looking at the character's gear and how I've done it so far. So here's the character at the moment, 1000 DPS by the way, level 87, Berserker. Now the title or the character's uh, name is referring to Rebuke of the Vals, which can hit over 1000 DPS, and that's usually the selling point behind them. People are like, hey, why not Rebuke of the Vile? They're over 1000 DPS now. For a one-hander, that's insane. But it is kind of a um, real textbook example of all bark, no bite because uh, it's got a big number, but it doesn't really specialize in anything. It's kind of slow compared to real one-handers, and it doesn't have any crit. So while it may have that DPS number, ultimately it's going to be worse than probably most other options. But currently I have tried uh, my best to make it something, and it's not really too bad. You can see here my current Spectral Throw DPS is 700,000. Now when you're looking at Spectral Throw in POB, you have to factor in that this is only one hit, and on average for a uh, spectral throw against a boss, you're going to be hitting three times, I'd say. So it's more like a 2 million DPS build, and uh, for spectral throw, it's actually pretty damn respectable. Uh, my biggest one before that was maybe four or 500k in POB, and I think this one can still go a little higher. So ultimately, it will be able to do damage, but in today's world, I think I could push a different spectral throw far harder with far more currency, but this one's fairly basic. It's just stacking some accuracy and some, uh, well, I don't know, resist and elemental damage gear. So what we have here is Rebuke of the Vile, um, dual wielding. Now, as I mentioned, there's some physical, there's all these elementals and chaos. If you try and scale all of them at once, you pretty much have to end up being doing or doing something uh, similar to me, where you're stacking accuracy, uh, getting projectile attack damage, bunch of crit, bunch of crit multi, and uh, probably a berserker that um, focuses on rage because it gives you a lot of generic attack damage, as well as the attack speed, and then you can go into crit, crit uh, multi, and some more attack speed. However, I think there would be probably another way of doing it, which is uh, um, focusing heavily on spell damage and going Crown of Eyes, or using some of the uh, new um, timeless jewels that could give you lots of range attack damage, lots of spell damage, once again, Crown of Eyes. So this is probably just um, the easiest way to get started, and it's a pretty uh, solid passive tree. You get a fair amount of life in the end. You get a lot of attack speed uh, throughout building um, for crit and accuracy. We get... Um, all kinds of attack speed like here, you get some here, 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 uh, here, here, there, here, uh, that's about it. And also you can do um, some attack speed through a watcher's eye. Currently I don't have any on this one, but you can get a precision attack speed watcher's eye, which I might do because I don't really need the mana cost of clarity, but I was going with that um, to begin with. I'll talk about that in just a sec. Um, so the, the two main reasons I'm accuracy stacking are Oscarms. They give you a bunch of uh, crit per accuracy and then uh, Obscurantus, which is a bunch of projectile damage per accuracy. You really need something like 15 plus thousand to make it even remotely worth it. 
And with my buffs up, I'm currently at 18.3 thousand. So it's not too bad. It almost gives me 100% proj, 200 crit, uh, any less than that. And it's really not quite worth doing at all. And if you're thinking, why not jug for accuracy stacking? It's because Berserk is just so much better. You get that nice jug accuracy node, but it doesn't come close to outweighing the amount of damage you get from Rage and Blitz. So we simply have to go this way and uh, have accuracy stacking as a bit more of an afterthought. Uh, the rest of the gear, basically life, triple res, uh, some elemental. You're trying to get accuracy up to 400 plus on the items that you can get it. So here with some wed, here with some wed again, um, here with some crit multi, and then I went proj speed, but I might recraft that for minus mana cost instead. And um, yeah, that's about it. As well as that, the swords themselves have a pile of accuracy too. Uh, I then went with a chest. Well, to start with, I went with an Eero's Fostering, which I wanted to, you know, keep the accuracy stacking theme going. But ultimately, that bestial minion these days just sucks so much balls that it's not worth wearing. If you take out the bestial rower um, from the equation, you're no longer getting the attack speed and the um, maim on hit. You're basically just wearing a chest for a little bit of life, a little bit of proj crit, and 400 accuracy, which is pretty fucking meaningless. So instead I ended up, um, I did this up until like level 85. I then crafted this chest with some serrateds because uh, I wanted some minus mana cost and a little bit of crit. And uh, this is what I landed with. You can buy one very similar to this one for pretty cheap, but I went in with um, serrated fossils personally to try and make one uh, as good as I possibly could. We did get the minus mana cost and we did get a bad crit roll, but it's still good enough. The idea is that uh, Spectral Throw does end up going up to about 30, 40 mana cost if you uh, aren't too careful. And Spectral Throw typically really likes the pre-fire um, method of playing. So instead of just like seeing enemies and then reacting to them, you want to throw out stuff before the enemies. And uh, for that, you really need really nice um, mana sustain or mana um, prevention. So in this case, I, my mana currently is only 13. And I can just about spam with this huge amount of attack speed, which gets me to like 8 attacks a second or something in the end, uh, given rage and blitz. And that's why I wanted the minus mana cost chest. Before that, I was just using the Clarity Watcher's Eye here that has minus 10 mana cost for Clarity. And that was fine with the aerials. But with this chest, it means I really don't even need that Watcher's Eye. Maybe I want the uh, minus mana cost craft here and do something completely different for the Watcher's Eye altogether. But uh, you ideally, I think, these days want some minus mana cost through your rings, um, amulet, uh, Watcher's Eye or the chest for a Spectral Throw build. I think it just feels way too good to pass up, but you could very much uh, go away without it, maybe using a Gemini Claw instead anyway. And then let's get into the uh, sort of supports here. I currently have Vile Spectral Throw, uh, then Crit Damage, Ellie with Attacks, GMP, Added Cold, and Hypothermia being my last one. Added Cold is still going to be pretty much our biggest damage support. As a matter of fact, almost none of our damage supports are that good given that we're scaling everything. Hypothermia is going to be one of the best, but it won't be super active all the time unless you are running something like Added Cold. And then Crit Damage, well, it's kind of hard to get a lot of Crit Damage uh, throughout the tree as a Spectral Throw build, so it's actually a pretty good gem still, and that's why we're using that. I was using Crit Strikes, but now that I've got this chest on, um, I've managed to kind of level out my critical striking just a little bit, up to 73, uh, since Blitz does take quite a bit away from you in the end if you're not careful, uh, minus 200 there, which is um, pretty much what Oscarms give us. So it's still a decent amount of crit, but you got to be careful that um, you're only using Blitz and keeping your crit up while you still need it. Uh, but that's basically it for the Spectral Throw um, shenanigans at the moment. You can very much just go pure cold if you'd rather, but uh, with the Rebuke of the Vials, if you want to take advantage of those, you kind of scale everything at once. You then run Herald of Ice, we're running Precision, Warburner, and then a level 1 Clarity just for the Watcher's Eye. But uh, I think ideally you'd go for like a cold damage stacking one, maybe with the um, added damage per dex clause. That would be uh, just probably the best way of building Spectral Throw right now, and I think still one of the strongest builds out there once you fully min-max it. But it might take a bit of currency, it might take a bit of um, 
well work to get to that stage. This character still has a few levels to go. Uh, going to get almost 6k life. Going to try and do some end game. And for the most part, it's a pretty good character for end game. I don't think it's going to be that good in a five way because you won't really ever have all of your single target or all of your um, AOE active uh, since your single target really requires you to use slow approach over GMP. But we'll see how we go. Uh, I hope I'll at least get a couple of bars in the five way. We'll see though. So that's the spectral throw for now with the rebuke of the vials. Just want to get, uh, get you guys thinking about spectral throw. It's still a lovely skill, but it might need some work um, with gear and sort of scaling methods if you're not just doing something stupid like rebuke of the vials. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you next time.